Matt, I figured it out. Bowser has taken over Nintendo and he is ruling it with an iron fist. If my lizard-based turtle friend kept stealing my girlfriend, I just wouldn't invite him over t for recreational tennis and go-karting. That's a good point. Hello and welcome to This Is. I get to say I told you so to Austin Evans. Hey, Austin Evans. Yes. I told you so. Okay, so this day has been coming for a long time. Yeah. I'm gonna be. Okay, look, we're all gonna sit down and have a civil conversation. No, about we're not. This. I want to come clean with you. I have been a Defendo for a long time. Some of my favorite consoles, some of my favorite games, some of my favorite franchises. I'm ready for a Switch 2. All of that stuff, absolutely true. But the wool has been pulled from over his little sheep eyes. Okay, so here's the thing as a noted Defendo, I have tried to be fair, but I was reading an article this morning and as I looked through it, do you ever have those moments of clarity? I was reading this article about how Nintendo had yet again filed lawsuits against people and obviously put people in jail, all this kind of stuff. And I was just like, man, it's not cool. The thing that has happened very recently was, so they have sued James Archbox Williams. He will potentially have to pay millions of dollars in fines. Now, uh, quote Nintendo, he has been an operator of several pirate shops where he offers massive libraries of pirated Nintendo Switch games. I know you're, you got a lot of stuff. Just give me this, let, let, me, let me make a statement. Yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead. Piracy is not good. Okay, and going after the moderator of r slash Switch Pirates. Uh, okay, look, uh, pretty fair. This guy probably should have chilled, but there are so many things that Nintendo could and should do. And I feel like they instead spend their time with scare tactics. Nintendo, I feel like, have used their legal power to just bully people. I feel like I've tried to be reasonable, but the thing that absolutely pushed me over the edge, they've also filed a lawsuit at Modded Hardware. I love that this is the the breaking point for you because I, know. I would say that this here it's not the worst. is the least egregious thing that Nintendo's ever done. I can go on Amazon right now and buy any number of little handhelds that have full of pirated Nintendo ROMs and stuff. You can still have legal ROMs. If you dump your own copy of a game and you make a legal backup of it, I will absolutely say for the record that for things like Game Boy games, I have used a dumper to physically dump my game and my save file and You're put it on my dumper. phone. I took a Often, big dump. Nintendo spends so much money on these on just bullying that they know that they can they can beat in court. There's a reason they're not going after Ambernick. As soon as you shut down Ambernick, tomorrow you're gonna have well, Bambernick, and then you're gonna have Cambernick, well, and then you're gonna have well, Mambernick. They say, okay, you know what? We're gonna make an example of this guy because first of all, he's a Reddit moderator. Hasn't life done enough to him? But we're gonna just ruin this guy's life to make an example of it. You're just alienating your super hardcore fans. Yes. Let's face it. People pirating Switch games is a fraction of a fraction compared yeah, no. to what they're selling. Can I give you a quote here? So yeah. when they sued Gary Bowser, who was part of Team Executor, they quoted that piracy group had lost Nintendo greater than $65 million. And Gary Bowser was slapped with a 40 month prison sentence and $14.5 million fine. I think the argument here is that every single person who downloaded an illegal copy of a game, every single one of those downloaders were going to buy a full copy of it. Can I, can I just be super clear? I'm not condoning piracy. I'm not saying like you should go I, out. You know what? I am condoning piracy. Okay. I am not in any way, shape or form a games preservationist. I'm totally fine with all things being digital, but you have to make it available to people. Yeah. Call me an Xbox fanboy shill all you want, but Xbox does a great job of almost all of our first party games are available on Game Pass for free. You got 360 games, you got Xbox One games. I mean, there's a lot we could talk about with Xbox being maybe not the best company in the world, but this is how that you do it properly to yeah. get good support from audience. Forza 4 is leaving Game Pass, but you know what they said? They're like, all right, here's a code so you can download it. Instead of just saying, nope, uh, we're gonna delist, delist it, period. And it's gonna go in our vault until the next console. Where we're gonna try and sell you that game for full price later on, which is exactly what Nintendo always does. The perfect example, I think, of why I get pissed off at Nintendo is Donkey Kong Country Returns HD now. It was re-released on mm -hmm. 3DS as a full price game. And then now they're releasing an 8 version for again $60 there's nothing new about this there's no new content when you look at like something like last of us last of us goes through and does like a full remaster or you look at like final fantasy 7 remake which is legitimately just a straight up new game nintendo is not 
remastering these games. They're just putting a new texture on, which modders have been trying to do forever. The guy who made Super Mario um, 64 an HD texture, instead of, instead of trying to sue him, what you do is, hey, come work for us because we're too busy trying to sue the I little just, guy. The thing is, I don't understand why Nintendo feel like they're kind of the only ones who have this problem. All companies, have intellectual property and they yeah. need to defend that right that's just the way that like a trademark works if you don't defend a trademark then it can be sort of invalidated there are reasons for companies to take legal action i'm not saying that that's impossible i'm not saying that you should just say hey everyone just pirate games whatever but what happens here is that nintendo it feels like they disproportionately first of all focus on suing individuals mm -hmm. fans shutting down projects they do all this kind of stuff and on top of that I, they don't have any kind of level of security to stop against this. Like, when was the last time you heard someone talking about pirating like a PS4, or PS5 game, or an Xbox One, or Xbox Series X game? And also, hey, here's a fun fact: most people don't care about trying to jailbreak an Xbox One because why would you? You just play the <laughs> game on PC. But Nintendo, because they have everything completely siloed to the Switch, there's much more incentive. And if Nintendo didn't want this stuff to happen as much, oh, I don't know, they could do about 73 different things. Yeah, I could solve. I could solve Nintendo piracy right now. Make the games available. Do you remember when Switch Online came out and they're like, with Switch Online, you're going to get some great games included with your subscription. And then it was a bunch of NES games. You shut down the 3DS store. You shut you shut down all these stores. And then there's no way to legally buy them anymore. Stores are marking the hell up on, on physical media. The idea that you could just go to a store now and yeah. pick up a used game like that is going away specifically for Nintendo. You could just solve the piracy by just saying, you know what? All these old Game Boy Advance games make Nintendo Online 60 bucks a year instead. Every month they add like freaking three games. And it's like, cool, I don't Xbox care. Xbox is hundreds. Yeah. And then they give you different ways to play that. You know what? Yeah. Oh, you want to play this game on your Xbox? You want to play this on your Amazon TV? Oh, wait, actually, wait, hold on a second. They added Iggy's Wrecking Ball. Oh, good. Never mind. You know what? Actually, I'll oh, for you Nintendo. Great. I want to play Iggy's Wrecking Balls. I always joke about how Pokemon is the largest franchise in the world. Pokemon, did you say Pokemon? Did I say did. The word? Yeah, now she, now she pays attention. I'm paying attention, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, Game Freak is such a small development team. Take away some of the money from the lawyers suing people <laughs> and give yourself <laughs> some 3D trees in the game. I just don't understand why Nintendo gets such a pass when it comes to the scummiest business practices. Yeah. I think they are way worse than any other company. It was like, Oh, uh, Apple's price gouging you for these things. Oh, the, the Samsung is the same every year. Then Apple's the same every year. Nintendo's whole business model is selling you the same game every generation to the point where they expanded out to sell you the same console. How many Switches do you own? Uh, three. I have a Switch Lite. We had an original Switch and then my wife uses a Switch OLED. So you have the same the same console three times because yes. let's face it, the OLED is not that big of an upgrade. How many times are like, like, oh, here's a special edition Switch. You gotta go rebuy it. Here's a special edition 3DS. Okay, okay, okay. I feel seen right now. Look, can I just say, I love Nintendo. I'm a Nintendo Defendo, my friends. But I'm not gonna just sit here and tell you that I'm gonna boycott Nintendo or whatever. Like I'm still gonna buy a Switch 2. I'm still gonna keep buying like Pokemon games. I finally have come to Jesus. And I have finally accepted the fact that what I'm doing is wrong and that Nintendo is actually maybe a company that I should not support but then while they do this. you're saying you're gonna do it. I feel like I'm yeah. taking crazy pills. Matt, because you do lots of things in your life that you know are bad for you, but you do them anyway. I'm just saying I'm not proud of my actions of supporting Nintendo anymore. I used to be a big Defendo. Now I'm like, you know what? This is bad. Here's my money. I just... How is, how is the fact that the best Pokemon game that's ever been made is from 20 years ago. Look, there's no way that you're gonna get me away from using Nintendo stuff. Like, that's just, I'm not gonna give up on Nintendo, but I'm now going to do it in this a morally is, ambiguous why, way. But this is why I get frustrated. If any other company did that, people would just be like, no, I'm not but gonna get their stuff. they're selling such good stuff, man. But are they? How? Convince me that they're selling good stuff. Have you ever played Pokemon Puzzle League? That game was a icon. You know what I could do? I could play it on my PC with a ROM that I downloaded from let jail. Know, <laughs> let us know what you think about the uh, about all this. Join me, my friends, in morally ambiguously supporting Nintendo. Not because we want to, because join we me have in to. just saying, "Fuck you, Nintendo." Well, I put you in jail. I would say the same.